Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Now it's almost Stindig time. I've been running around the farm, setting up cool new rainbow trees and planting down some more canopy trees, two of my favorite trees from the Twilight Forest. So our whole farm now is pretty twilighted up. Now I have to have a look underneath the Tree of Transformation to see if we started to create a twilight biome under the farm, because if that happens, then we'll get things like the deer and the warthogs and the rams from the Twilight Forest spawning in our farm. But I have a feeling that the Tree of Transformation doesn't quite work. But I got a hot tip from you guys saying that I can actually lead animals through the Twilight Portal. So I'm going to take some wheat and some vegetables into the Twilight, see if I can start pushing through some warthogs and some deer. So let's strap on our gold haste boots and get back to it. Oh yeah, lickety split, man. I love these golden boots. Now, are there anything I can... Are there any signs I can take off from um, from this sign? Now, I'm not sure about a fish farm, you see. Because we, we put the sign up for a fish farm. But it's quite complicated to actually farm fish. What we need to do is get a large aquatic area and, and have fish spawn in it. Because there's no way to get a fish spawner or a squid spawner. So that's going to be tricky. Uh, so what I think I'm going to have to do is just pass on the fish farm. Let's go and check underneath the Tree of Transformation, however, to see if we've actually gotten the Twilight Biome spawning here. Now, the ground hasn't changed colour. You can see the notes falling from the tree, which is pretty cool in itself. And decoratively, it's quite a nice tree, but it doesn't look like it's actually working. So what I'm going to do now is get some wheat and some vegetables. And I might as well go direct to the source here and go underneath the farms and grab some of these, these little... Um, Grab some wheat and grab some vegetables and go straight to the twilight. See if I can coax back some animals. Now, oh, oh, right, yeah, it gets piped straight to the uh, the farm kitchen. That's right. Now, as you can see around the farm, we've got rainbow oak spread out as well as these huge canopy trees. Now, they kind of conceal the farm quite a bit, but I think they also look super cool. I mean, look at that color on those leaves. Oh, that looks fantastic. It's like a rainbow in full bloom. Okay, so I'll need some uh, some carrots, it was, from underneath the carrot farm. How do we get to that over here? Oh yeah, now these should be perfect for coaxing the warthogs. Lovely. And also, I will need some wheat for the, I think, deer. Now, hopefully these will work. If not, I could probably just push them into the portal. But we'll have to get to the twilight to find out if that's possible. Okay, where's wheat? Here we go. Ah, oh, lots of wheat. Lovely stuff. I'll just put my hydro chops up there. I should save those because they are super effective at restoring hunger. I think one hydro chop gives you full full hunger. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. All right, now let's go into the twilight to see if we can push through some of these animals and coax them back to our farm. Hey, Charlotte, how you doing? Doing good. You too, Jake. Good to see you guys. Chilling out at, the, at, at your pens, at your little uh, your little kind of pet houses. Okay, let's climb the mountain and head deep into the twilight. So as soon as I have these animals in place, and I've looked at the milk, because we've got a lot of milk from our milk facility, but we haven't used it to make any of the cool things that we've got on the menu, like ice cream and chocolate milk. Oh man, chocolate milk. Can you imagine? That'd be great. So once I've got chocolate milk and the new animals, we can start sending out the invitations to the... Oh, hey guy! How's it going? Oh yeah, you love... You love the wheat, don't you? As soon as I've got these cool new foods, I can start sending out invitations to to bring people to my farm for the shindig. Now, does this work? In you go, my friend. Come on. It's going to push you in now. Go on. Is he going through? Oh, man. No, he's not going through. Okay, well, let's try this out. If I put wheat and go through myself, is he going to follow me? Let's wait and see. Come on, dude. Oh, no, it's not working, guys. I think it must be in a newer version of Twilight Forest that they actually come through the portal. Damn. Oh, well, it was a nice try all the same. Now, apparently, transformation powder is found inside hollow hills. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Twilight Forest and see if I can find some hollow hills and bring back some Twilight transformation powder. Right, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for, but I've got a theory. Now, I'm looking for something called a hollow hill. And a hollow hill is is going to be like a hill hollowed out. And, oh, oh, contact, contact. Let's take him out. Oh, yeah, you're going down. Now, in theory, to create a hollow hill, the game 
when it generates terrain, it's going to have to create a man-made mound that's hollow, right? And this looks like it's pretty man-made. When you look at the map, look above, it looks very circular in, uh, in parts. So I think that's probably because... Yeah, definitely. When you come to the top of here, it's a very regular kind of hill, and there's a small kind of little peak at the top. So I think that means this is a hollow hill. So let's get the shovel out and dig deep inside and see what we can find inside this little, uh, this little hill here. Okay, I need a way to get into this thing. Um, I'm probably going to start from down pretty low. Okay, come on. Oh, hello, gazelle. Right, this looks like a good as, place, as good a place as any, so let's just dig inside the hill. Oh, my shovel's dead. Can I make a new one? There we go. Lovely stuff. And can I make a shovel with this? Yeah, I need one diamond for a shovel. So there we go. And a diamond shovel. Perfect. Right, so let's dig inside this thing. Okay, I'm in. Oh my god, what are you? Eat, eat lead scum. Nice. And he dropped, he dropped coal. Oh, this is perfect. This couldn't have got any better. So I can use this coal to make some torches, maybe. Although I don't need to for the time being, because it looks like there's plenty of lava around. Now, best keep my wits about me, because I can hear spy- Oh, oh, oh! Rude dudes! Eat lead suckers. The boots are mine! I don't know what that means, but... Now, what kind of loot do these things drop? There's some redstone here. What's this? Shard of minium. Nice. And some- Uh-oh, some more string. It means there's more spiders around. Careful. Ooh, a chest. I'll just take this guy out. Come on. Come on. Have it. Have it, yeah. He's dropped some more coal. Nice. I can make another make another uh, few torches. In fact, that's what I'll do in a sec. I'm just going to raid this chest. Make sure no one's going to come and sneak up on me. In fact, if I approach it from this side, I can see anybody sneaking up on me while I, while I loot. Ooh, what's this? Oh, live root. Oh, man. It's got a yellow name, so it must be something cool. I'll take the gunpowder, but I'll leave the rest. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put down uh, a new crafting bench to make myself some more torches. Okay, I can't find any more than that one chest, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of here now and uh, see if I can get back to civilization and reality and find some more hollow hills with hopefully some transformation powder inside. Oh my god, what the hell is that? It looks like the mother of all ghasts. Oh crap, I've got my M16, but I don't have any ammo. Oh no, what am I going to do? Um, I can't sword him. I do have a bow, though. I might have to bow this dude. Okay, I'll get me... I've got plenty of arrows. Okay, let's get the bow out. Oh, he's gone. Where's he gone? Is he despawned? No, he can't have. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Are they special ghasts or are they just normal ghasts? I don't know. Either way, I'm going to get close. I'm going to raid this fortress because maybe there's some transformation powder inside here. Okay, now I'll put down some torches, make sure I'm... Safe inside here. Oh, yellow mushrooms. Weird. Let's try some of these. Uh-oh, is that a creeper over there? I think it is. Oh, and there's some weird... Oh, there's ender dudes inside there. Okay, better eat up. Get my hunger full so I can get recharged some more health. Lovely baked potatoes coming in handy here. Now I'm going to pop these mushrooms. See what I get. These are mushglooms. What's a mushroom? I don't know, but maybe I can make some special recipe with them. Just grab a load up. Yeah, lovely stuff. Okay, that's fantastic. Now it's time to get inside this fortress and, uh, and raid this place. Now, why aren't these blocks breaking? Is this... Can I not break into this fortress? Is there, a, is, there a, is there an entrance that I have to take? It looks like I can't get in. What are these red things? Do I have to press them? Oh, whoa! Whoa! Weird, when you right-click them, they just vanish. I guess that makes it an entrance. Oh, and they come back, so the doors that close. Well, I'll take this one over here, because it's more at ground level. Okay, I'll need my wits about me to survive in here. It's going to be super deadly, I'm pretty sure. Okay, there's an ender dude. And ghasts! Okay, I don't think they saw me. Okay, I'm going to go in. Guns blazing! Yeah! Ooh! Creeper! I can use the creeper to take them out. Yeah! Did some damage. Get out of my face, Ender Man. Ender, Ender scum. Where's he gone? Okay, he's vanished. He'll be back, though, so I better be careful. Pop, 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 pop. Now, what are these? Do, 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 they, they, do they shoot stuff at me? These things aren't shooting anything. It's weird. But they're definitely bad guys, so I'm going to kill them. Whoa! Maybe they're not bad guys, because they don't shoot me until I shoot them. 
Okay, I'm going to pop down a torch. No, I can't. I've run out of torches. Nope, I've got more coal so I can make some more torches. Pop. Okay, right, so I found a way into the fortress. Now, what happens when I right-click these? Oh, weird. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh! Weird little spider things. Okay, it's gone. What the hell? What the hell? What are these weird glitchy blocks as well? They're like... They're like kind of windows into the void. Oh, that's weird. Any chests around? Any Any booty? Don't see any. I don't see any spawners either, actually. Oh, man. Oh, weird. End, end the dude. Okay, another another doorway. Another treasure room, I think. Nothing in here, though. Not by the looks. What's through here? Okay, that's the outside. Back through here. Again, the outside. Okay, let's head back through here. And go up a level to see if there's anything up to the top. Oh, weird. This is like some weird kind of maze. Oh, whoa! Uh-oh. Pressure pads. This could be bad. But huge chests. Let's see what's inside here. Ironwood. What the hell is ironwood? I don't know, but I'm taking it. Diamonds, always useful. Cookies. Maze wafer. That's not a cookie. I've got some gas tears here as well. I'm going to drop the string. I shouldn't, I shouldn't need too much string. Because flax is string. And I've got loads of flax. Oh, yeah. A charm of keeping. Whoa. What the hell's a charm of keeping? I don't know. I'm going to throw away some of this wheat to take that. Got some steel leaf as well. Oh, man. We're getting all the loot out here today. This is great. Okay, let's try and get up to the next level. Whoa! Uh-oh. Looks like a golem that doesn't seem too happy to see me. How am I going to deal with this sucker? Well, how else? With a bow and arrows. That's right, you scumbag. Where'd you go? Come back here. Okay, he's gone. Damn it. What's this weird red stuff? Where's the golem gone? Have to break through this fence manually. There we go. Now I'll keep my bow drawn. There he is. There's the golem. That's right, scumbag. You can't get close to me. Oh, man. Does he say rip on his on his chest? Or was that whip? Maybe it's whip for work in progress. Looks like we found some weird wizard's tower. Okay, let's keep going up. Oh, a red spider. Whoa! What the hell is that? Ah! It's got me! Oh, my God. What the frig was that? It was like some kind of weird beetle thing. And it grabbed me. Holy crap, this place is scary as hell. <laughs> Alright, I'm climbing up. Okay, so I've gone through chest after chest. Oh, okay, let's check this one. Oh, is there going to be anything in this one? I'm finally, like, pretty much at the top of this tower now. If you look outside here, you can see pretty much there's nothing above me. We're at the roof. We're at the roof of the world right here. And fingers crossed transformation pa No! Oh, damn it. We've got some, some more ironwood ingots. Another charm of keeping. Not sure what these do. Sand, red wool. Well, okay, let's see. I'm going to need to dig over to one of these towers, I think, over here. See if there's anything in these chests. Right. So let's get the pickaxe out. See if I can just... No, I still can't break these things. Damn it. How am I going to get over there? Oh, no, wait. Hang on a sec. I think this is actually wood. Now, if I can mine this with an axe, I can get myself enough wood to make a bridge. Oh, yeah, it is. Nice. Okay, it's just time to mine this stuff up then to make myself a bridge. Now, what am I going to throw away? Probably the shard of minium. And it's tower wood. Oh, man. Now, this is a cool type of wood. If I had more time and a better axe, I might actually farm this stuff up. Okay, now I could probably make that jump. Let's go. Woo! And no ghasts. Okay, the coast looks clear. Let's raid this. Oh, there's a chest in here. Nice. Let's just chop this wood. Okay, now what's in... Oh! Can't see anything. Okay, what's in the chest? Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Transformation powder! Just what I need. Let's grab the steel leaf, grab the transformation powder, and get the maze wafer. Now it's time to hit hit the teleport back to, um, to the portal. Kablam! Oh, yeah, and I've got the spoils of that tower. It's time to head back and turn some creatures into the new Twilight Forest animals. Whew! What a tower. What a crazy hellspawn tower. That was even worse than the Lich's tower. Right, okay, now it's time to drag some of our legit animals into the pens and turn them into Twilight Deer and Twilight Warthogs. Now I've got 
some carrots and some wheat. That should be all I need to do the job. I've got my transformation powder. Hey, Charlotte, how's it going? Now let's just lead them into their pens and get them transformed. Now first up, we'll do the cows, I think. Hello, cows. Now I can probably take out two at once. So if I just get these guys to come out the fence, there we go. There's one and uh, ooh, two. That'll do, I think. Oh, whoops. I gave him some wheat. Luckily, I've got loads of this stuff, though. So, there we go. Now, come on, guys. This way to your pens. Now, a weird thing, actually. Cows are all female in Minecraft. But if you give wheat to two of them, they will make a baby. Go figure. Right, so the cows. You're going to go in. Oh, come on. Come on, Bessie. Bessie and Bobby. Come here, you. Come on. Come on. You like, you like wheat, don't you? Come on, Bessie. Why are you so scared? There you go. Okay, guys, in you go. Let's get you inside the pen. Oh, there's already a cow here. Oh, fantastic. That helps me out a bit. Now, come on. Why isn't this cow getting in here? I might have to just push him in. Here we go. Come on, get in here. Come on, you know you want to be in here. Now, they can get through the other gate just fine. Okay, let's just push him in. Oh, no, not you, not you. Oh, no, he's left. Okay. Well, if I bring out the bring out the wheat, these guys should want to come back in. Okay, there's one. And come on, get in here. Why aren't you coming in? Okay, I'm going to have to push you. I'm going to have to push you. Oh, squeeze you in there. Oh, yeah, in she goes. Okay, great. Now, oh, you want to come in now too, do you? Well, tough, tough titties. I'm afraid, uh, I'm afraid you're going to have to take your udders away from here. I'm going to try and use the transformation powder on these cows to turn them into deer. Let's see if this works. Boom! Oh, yes! Woohoo! We've got a twilight deer. And again. Oh, fantastic. Now, the moment of truth. Let's use the wheat on you to try and make you breed a babby gazelle. Go on. Oh, yes! There he is! Oh, that is so beautiful. Look at that. A little babby gazelle. Now, it's time to repeat this with the pigs and the sheep. Okay, I've got the I've got the sheep and the pigs inside their pens and I've turned them into their new Twilight counterparts. Now it's time to use this wheat. Oh, better put this away in case they jump out of their set, their, their pen. I almost called it a cell there. That's probably more accurate. Now let's make these suckers breed. Come on, you love it really. Now do it, work your magic. Yay, a little big horn. Nice, ah, oh, sweet. Now it's time to use my carrots to do the same with the pigs. Now, excuse me. It's going to come through here. Don't escape. Don't escape either, guys. Stay in here. Good stuff. Now let's give you some carrots and make a babby pig. Go on, do it. Oh, look at this dude. Oh, he's so cute. His head is like twice the size of his body. Ah, oh, sweet. So now we can replicate the Twilight Forest animals. Ah, oh, this is amazing. This is amazing news. So next episode, we can harvest these guys for their new types of meat. And also, we'll do something with the milk as well. We'll turn the milk into chocolate milk and ice cream and all those magical milk recipes. And I think we can finally have our Stjindig. So, thanks for watching, guys. I've been Stjind. We've been to the Twilight Forest. We've got our animals prepared. And, uh, and everything's getting ready and closer towards getting our Shindig underway. I'll send out the invites tonight. And hopefully, pretty soon, we can get everybody on the farm and have a great time have a party, have some fresh music, have some fresh food, and have a great time. So I've been Stjin, this has been The Farm and Feed the World, and I'll see you guys next time for more Feed the World action. Take care.